Hello Nocker fans, in this video we're going to build a table with the new Zapier update, Zapier tables. We're going to connect this table to a Zap and we're going to use the button element in the table. Follow us at, at no code devs. check it out. So here I am in Zapier, so we'll go to tables obviously. So there's a way we can create a table through, from a CSV file, create a template table, which is at the moment just a to-do list. These are coming soon as you can see. What we're going to do is create a blank table. So we're going to call this members for the members for NCD. The idea for this project is the front end will be a email sign up sheet on a website. As soon as you create a table, it gives you a very simple table. These are the fields as you can imagine for uh, as you can see, which is similar to the fields you get in Airtable and Google Sheets. You can on here you can download your records, you can edit records, choose which apps to run. Probably very familiar for you if you're using Airtable or Google Sheets. So for this first one, we're going to change the name to first name. Uh, it says it text uh, field type, alignment, default to the left. We can also choose center, not too sure why that is for. And you can also pick an icon. But for the time being, I'm going to leave it in the center. And there we go, that saved that. Again, I press the, because we've already got a field in, press the three dots at the side, edit field, family name in there, text again, this one, I'm gonna put a center again, delete field here, as you can see there, and you can connect that field to zaps as well. But for the time being, we're just gonna do that. Perfect, edit field again. This will be our email address for this person. There we go. Now the av emails, there it is. You can see on the field type, all these field types at the moment with a button which is it says that it's experimental. One thing it hasn't got at the moment is formulas, unlike Airtable and Google Sheet has. But maybe that's something that, again will be coming out in the future. Right, so this will be email. Nope, not phone number. Email. There we go. Save that. Now, if you want to add another another field, as you can see, click on the field. But for this, I'm going to put a date. Date registered and date and time will be there. You can choose your time zones. Being from the UK, I want London. And again, being from the UK, I'm going to change that to day, month, year. Put that in there. Perfect. Now, for this, I want to create create another button. No, nope, not sorry, not that. Create yeah, create field. This will be send follow up. This will be the experimental button field. As I said, the experimental features are in development. And here, as you can see, they can trigger a zap, can continue a zap. So if it stops at a zap, default button is go, send email, continue. And here will be, what I'll put is the email sent. So that will be that. And again, it will be date again. What more problem I have found with, with these tables is you can't just set a standard time for setting for all the for the dates and something you use recurringly so that would be quite handy because at the minute as you see again i put the date field in again and again i've got to change the time zone and i've got to change the change that around it's in. right create that right so yeah so yeah, as you go to see you can on here you can send records, you can pen, this is pending as a default. Record, records created manually will be marked as pending. So the, as soon as you create a record, it won't send with a, with a zap, send the information with a zap. These are all the zaps that are being attached to it. And these are some of the filters. So right, for the time being, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this in. address is code.com. Date registered will be, all right, perfect just what we want. Now at the moment, as it says there, you can look to, to set up a zap with a trigger button, go to, to your field settings and click, click clear a zap. Because now you, got, you can't click on it because we haven't created a zap for the actions. So let's go to settings, create zap, create zap. There we go. And it gives you all these choices. And you can say trigger when new events, new records or table added, when changes are made to automatically add records to this table from a form or app. But for, for our use case, it just will be a blank zap. Actually, we want to create it through there, thinking about it. What we need to, what I want to create it through is through here. Edit field. I'm going to attach this. There we go. So settings, zap. So through here, I'm going to create a zap here. And what it does when you do it that, that, that way is it automatically creates this trigger. 
So you can create zaps through here and attach it to this. But I think it's just a bit easier doing it through this way, through the field settings, create zap through that way. It's already got a name on there, as you can see. Right, so what we want to do here is, so it's got the members for, there's no different views, it'd be automatic view, send follow up. Yep, this is all, the correct information is already pulled through. Brilliant, you can test it. This should be my details coming through. Oh, we on. Yep, there we go, your trigger is working, perfect. There we go, all done brilliantly, happy days. And after that, we're going to send the email. So the email will be sent by my Gmail account. Send email will be the event. Choose an account. So choose my, there we go. Two, we'll be grabbing the information from above. Show all options. Where is the email address? There it is. Perfect. Let's welcome email. And with this bit, I'm going to put my name there. The first thing there. And for that, I'm going to put that there. There we go. You can look all this all this information, you can put some things like you signed up to our free webinar. The you can put the date and time in there, look. There we go. Perfect, happy days, you can check into a label box. Continue, that's all we need for the time being. Test action. Perfect. Now what we want to do with this. There we go, welcome email, you are awesome. There we go, come through perfectly. Now with this, all I just want to do is go back into the table and tick off when this email was sent. There we go, so it's Zapier tables. Let's use this one here, see if this one works. Right, so it would be update record, that's what we wanted. Continue, table ID will be custom it will be we'll get table id from here that's record id table id there look perfect record id will be get custom again that will be the record id is there and what we need date sent Put date sent will be now if you like this video and want to learn all about no code tools please subscribe below and follow us at no code devs and it says underneath here it's got all the you can, you can set by value, so I can set by value to that will be the value. What's that in there? Perfect. Oh, I did forget something actually. I just want to put a checkbox in, it doesn't matter. Right, okay, and that's it. Test action. It even names the zap for you as well. Remember, it's named after the table and the number is that number created for this table, which is really cool. Don't have to change the name. And one thing I have, reali uh, I have realized is update automatically like it does in Airtable. So you have got to refresh the page. And there it is. There it is. So hopefully as soon as this is published, this is app as well. Hopefully we'll be able to click on this. There we go. You can click on this now because I've published the app. As soon as you've published the app, it allows you to send that email. And there we go. That is a simple zap, uh, Zapier table created very quickly. Connected it to a zap. So basically the idea is it comes through, all these details come through here. You check them out, press the press this button, send an email, and you get a date when it's sent. What we could do as well is so we have a checkbox. And so it's added a checkbox to this. Checkbox. Perfect. Let's edit this again. There we go. So that's the sent thing we just created. Check checkbox. And that will be now be true. Retest. Publish that. Don't have to rename it, it's fine. Let's update this. There we go. So that's ticked off. Let's add a filter as well, maybe. Add a filter for sent is false. See these are all the false records. Now that's all the filtered records. You can see where you can hide certain fields as well. What fields are hidden? Remove this filter. Default view. You can share as well. Can we share with your team customers or so say oh, invite them below and choose you can create a shareable link for this for the table and in this bit here as you go back into the dashboard you can obviously edit table share table and delete from there as well all right i hope this has been helpful i think zapier tables would be a great addition to the zapier universe i think i think it's got a lot to offer there are some areas we definitely do some work on it's got a lot to offer already so definitely worth checking out it's very easy to use very straightforward and check it out and keep on building.